Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we like to do things budget friendly and if you are like me and have champagne taste but on a beer budget, these videos are for you. So as you guys would have seen by the thumbnail, I have a fall fashion alert for Timu and I have I have a huge bag full of clothes that I've kind of been collecting over some period of time and I even have a package coming in today so I really need to crack into these items and show you what's in these bags so let's address the elephant in 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 the room shall we now, I know that there are some of you that like to come on here and give me a hard time about my cat. And so my mom and I were kind of brainstorming about a possible solution. Instead of packing her away into a room and allowing a lot of you that do love to see Koi on my channel, I was thinking to get a taller chair so that when she's on the table, that's very, very much in front of me and she's doing her little catwalk that she won't be as much of a distraction because you won't see her as much so today's project is going to be going out to thrift stores to see if i can find something similar to like a bar chair and i'm hoping that that will help so that some of you who do get distracted by miss koi um will not see her as often but for those of you who do love seeing her you will still see little wafts of tails here and there so let's move into this timu fashion starting off with the sweatshirt that i am currently wearing now this sweatshirt as adorable as it is okay this bow is kind of on the heavy side and it has a tendency to drag the sweatshirt down a little bit which isn't bad if you don't mind the the lower scoop in the neck and it does have a tendency to be a little bit annoying in the arm area but let me show you now one of the things that i was thinking about doing specifically for this sweatshirt is to maybe take some stitches to connect these two points onto this sweatshirt here and then to take this point of the sweatshirt and connect it somewhere up here by still allowing me to have some arm movement to really kind of make this a little bit more put together and maybe um, less of uh, an annoyance when these things are just kind of hanging around. But I don't know, what do you guys think of this sweatshirt? Now, I do have to tell you that the material on this sweatshirt is your typical, don't mind my pocket, it likes to be inside out. Um, it, this is that really super soft lined sweatshirt material that you would expect to find at any store off the rack. So just wanted to tell you that this is a good quality sweatshirt material. It is soft on the outside and fleece lined coziness on the inside. Now let's get into some more. There is another piece that is going to require a little bit of stitching, which I don't mind. And that is this vest right here. Now, I saw this and it is in Asian sizes. So when I picked it up, I picked it up in an Asian XL. Um, I think... I don't know that I have the bag here somewhere, but I will put it up on the screen and it is quite oversized. So what I would say is consider sizing down on this if you don't like how oversized it is. Of course, you will see in the try on what it looks like on me. So if you are my size and the size that I picked out um, is something that you think you would you would like on yourself, then by all means, pick out the size that I got. So the, the problem is, is this little button here um, got stretched out. And so it's disconnected ever so slightly. So what I would say to this is obviously I'm going to stitch it back in, but I would say to this, don't bother buttoning and unbuttoning it because the buttons, I feel like if you were to struggle with trying to button and unbutton this, would loosen up the stitching and you will have the same issue. So overall though, 
this material is very, very soft. It is a thinner woven material. So this is going to be that material that if you like me, have dogs and kitties and they like to snuggle and give you patty cakes and all of that stuff. This one is one that will snag, but it is super, super soft. And this is what it looks like all together so you do have some additional little cording that goes along to give it a little extra pizzazz and then of course your denim pocket with the snaps but the snaps are not functioning okay it's just the snap um, on this side to make it look um, a little jazzed up but the pockets are nice and big absolutely love that and then of course the back of it is just very plain but this is going to be a nice vest for layering under you know if you wear a nice long sleeve underneath of it but let's move on to the next one and this is also going to be kind of a cover up if you will a little bit of a shawl so this one has very different color variations many different distributors so the prices are going to obviously change throughout the distributors so again you guys when you see something like this make sure that you click on the picture that best looks like the item that you are shopping for tap that photo enlarge it the screen will be black above and the screen will be black below and then in the upper right hand corner of the screen there will be a little camera icon tap that camera icon and it will pull up the list of distributors and then you can choose the different uh, distributors and the prices and the colors from there so what is this it is a shawl and then it goes around your shoulders and kind of drapes over like so and this is perfect now my my partner and I have um, lots of ponchos um, that but you have to put your head through the poncho right and we have them upstairs and we have them kind of sitting on our couch in lieu of blankets per se, so that when we just need a little extra something cozy while we're sitting and watching TV, we sit there with our, with our ponchos. But I like this one because it still has that, that poncho-esque kind of off the shoulder, hanging down, nice and warm, but it doesn't go over your, your head. It just kind of drapes over your shoulders. And of course, this one also has the beautiful little tassels that are attached to it. This one is a little bit um, less um, loose of a weave as that other one, so it's a little bit tighter, but I would still say that this is going to be a little, um, little snaggy uh, if you're wearing the wrong ring or if you're around your pets or, or so on and so forth. But the... Um, the stitching, well, there's no stitching, it's all woven, um, is finished very nicely. It doesn't have any loose frayed edges and the little tassels, of course, really make it um, kind of add to the little feature of it. So this one is really great for, again, just lounging around, maybe watching TV or just a little extra something when you're out and about. All right, next one I have is another cover-up. And it's kind of similar, it's, but it's also dissimilar. So I will show you, and this is in an Asian small medium, but I think overall this one is going to be like a, a one size fits most because of, of what it is. So again, it's another kind of cover up, but this one you put your arms through. So not this, you put, well, it does look like a sleeve. Hmm. Hmm. To me, it looks like you just put your arms through it like this and then just have the sleeve, sleeves hang down. I don't know. We'll have to see in the try on. So more like, almost more like a cape, I guess you can say. But I saw the um, the gal, she was wearing it with like a little button up shirt. So I will try something and I don't know exactly what that pattern is. 
I don't know, um, close up. It just looks kind of like gloopy globs, but nonetheless, I think it's kind of a cute pattern with a handful of pops of color. So that one I thought was really cute. Now Koi was sitting on this and I thought I would just leave it for her, but now she's, she's playing around on the table. Now, I have had a couple of you ask me to do some like leopard or something like that prints. And for me personally, that's not necessarily my jam. However, I did find this piece. And this is actually a knockoff of a very expensive brand. And I can't think of it at the moment, but there is a brand that kind of went viral. And since then, there's been a lot of knockoffs or a lot of dupes. And this is one of them. And I did come across this feed and I thought of some of you guys who were into the, like the big cat prints. I picked this up in a women's medium. There were several colors. I was leaning on either the gray or the green, but I ended up picking up the gray. And it looks like this. So you've got your, your two cats kind of facing each other. And then of course the arm is the pattern of the big cat. It is very soft. It's um, not, not crunchy, but um, it feels like a tighter weave and almost a thicker weave in in the sleeve area than it does the rest of the body. So this must be, is it lined? Kind of, kind of lined. So that would be the inside of the sleeve. So that's really interesting, obviously not digitally printed, but it does feel like the arm is a little bit thicker than the rest of the body, which is nice. But I thought that was really super cute. And for those of you who do like the cat print, again, multiple different colors in this style. Another one that I picked up, another women's medium, is this guy. And this guy is really, really soft as well. And this one was a little bit pricier, but I did, I did get quite a few price adjustments on this. So my assumption is, is that the price has gone down on this one. And it also has, you guys, thumb holes on this one. So hopefully, and I haven't tried this on yet, hopefully the sleeves are long enough because you know how sometimes if the sleeves aren't long enough and you put your thumb through the thumb hole and it kind of pulls and pinches because the sleeve isn't long enough, I'm really hoping that it is. The buttons on the front are absolutely functional, although I would not be buttoning it up any more than what it already is. And of course it has all these, all of the different colors are different pieces of material and stitched in. So I don't know if I'm making sense, but I just, I love all the different parts and pieces of it, all of the different layers, this kind of crisscross, um, asymmetrical design on the front, of course. Um, the seams on this is very, is hemmed very nicely. And again, it's really, really super soft. Now, somebody had said that I was possibly using the wrong C word in describing some of these softer materials and that it would actually be more of a Chanel material um, versus, versus what? What have I been using? I know it starts with the C. I've said it so many times and then I'll forget it five minutes later and I am having the same brain fart. Anyway, that it feels that the material would be more similar to like a Chanel feel. But I thought this one might be cute underneath this one. Along the lines of forgetting things, I don't think I could have planned this any more perfectly. However, I did find this shirt and I could not resist. <laughs> could not resist. I'm a multitasker. I can listen, ignore, and forget all at the same time. <laughs> I mean, clearly that's what I just did. I, I very 
I'm talking about something multitasking and forgetting all at the same time. But this is this is a women's medium t-shirt. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is full polyester, but this does have that cotton feel to it. Oh, it's actually 60% polyester, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. So there you go. I just, Sometimes when I see these printed t-shirts, there's so many of them, so many of them that I see and I'm like, I have to have that. Um, but then I think to myself, maybe I shouldn't be saying those things in public, that I should kind of just keep those things to myself. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Okay, I forget what this one is. This one is a large, is this an undershirt maybe? No, another type of cover up in a way. So it looks like, okay, this is the front. So it kind of looks like a big giant t-shirt until, or a tank top until you get to this point. It has this huge cutout here that goes all the way down the length of it. So kind of like a, like a skin tight dress of sorts. And it's all closed on this side. And again, the size that I picked up was because of it looking like a skin tight product that I thought I would need something a little bit more loose. So I don't know if this one is going to be loose enough for what I am thinking. I have not tried it on yet. So so this is going to be great with a pair of leggings or a skinny pair of jeans. And I don't know that I paid very much for it. So it was just something that I wanted to try. And another cover up kind of a article of clothing. This one I did get for free and it was like a, a daily deal that had popped up if I bought X amount of things that I could pick something for free. And this one was the free product. And it kind of follows the same suit of that other one. So you have a top, let's see, this is the front. You have a top, the front is open, and you would wear either a pair of skinny jeans under this or a pair of leggings. Now, the material itself is, um, it's very kind of thin, not a very good quality material on this. Um, I think they could have finished off the sleeves in this area a little bit better. And I think they could have finished off the contrast between this part of the top and the bottom part of the top a little bit better. Perhaps you could wear a belt to maybe disguise that a little bit, but it did look super cute on the model in the photo. And I'm not, I'm not horribly disappointed in this material that finishes off the sleeves and, and the bottom of the dress, if you will. So obviously I'm going to be trying all of these items on for you so you get a, get an idea of what they look like. But again, I don't know since it was free, I think it was something that was either on clearance or, or very underpriced some way, somehow, and they were just trying to move products out. And next, um, I needed to grab something out of my, my big huge bag to pair with some of these kind of over the shoulder things. And so I did end up grabbing I did up gra at grabbing one of these and it's kind of like a fleece. Let's see if I just go really slowly, if it'll zoom in. So it's a very light, uh, fuzzy fleece material, no thumb holes, just a very basic layering top. I have picked up other colors, but I haven't picked one up in this material and this material is so soft and cozy. It kind of feels like a nice undergarment, um, like a 
like a long john set that you can get at the stores for a pretty penny. I know that there is a specific brand of uh, long johns or yeah, a long john company that has this kind of material and they, they charge 20 or 30 bucks for just, you know, either the top or the bottom. But this is really soft, really cozy. I'm gonna use that to layer underneath some of these over the shoulder items. And then two more items to go. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. Okie dokie. I have this shirt, which I did pick up in an Asian large. Nope, this is an Asian XL. I want to say that the Asian XL is a women's 810, possibly, or a women's medium. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it on the screen anyway. But I thought this shirt was really cute and I think the only reason why I bought it in a larger size is because it was the only one left. Now this one looks really super baggy, but you cinch it in. You cinch it in with these little doohickey bobbers here. I don't remember what they're called. I'm sure you guys know what these are called. But you cinch it in in the waist using these little little thingy majiggies here, kind of like a drawstring, uh, an elastic drawstring of sorts. And then it's got these extra little, they're not pockets, but they kind of look like pockets. They're sewn closed. Almost looks like you're wearing um, a bodice. Is that what I'm thinking of? One of those things? You know, when I edit, I end up putting the words down below that I can't think of while I'm filming. But there's that one. So very interesting. Two different types of materials here. The, the, the black kind of more silky material isn't extremely see-through, which is nice. And then the rest of it is kind of like this cottony feel t-shirt material but it has it has all kinds of different layers and parts and pieces of it that i thought were really cool the stitching on it is really nice they've got everything just kind of beautifully put together like i said they could have finished off that other cover-up that i was saying to you a little bit better and this is kind of what i mean by finishing off the stitching and the different parts and pieces of the product the different layering materials a little bit better and that's certainly what they did with this top and um not quite sure what this piece is maybe just a string that hangs off the back for no particular oh no 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 Durr. <laughs> it feeds through this little eyelet here well Let's see. So it goes over the shoulder and feeds through this little eyelet here. And then I'm sure you could probably put some kind of a knot in there to keep it from coming back out. Like so. So that's kind of cute. Okay, moving on to the last, last piece I want to show you. And that is these. So these finally came in the in one of my last videos. You guys would have seen that when I get pants that are they fit me comfortably in the waist, but they still are just a skosh too wide. You can get you can get these little items now. This came in a big pack, and this is part of like a Timu Circle freebie product that I had received. And what this is, let's see if I can do it with these pants. Tuck in my, my pockets here. So what you do is you would take your pant, like so, kind of give it, you know, a little pinch or a squeeze there. And then you would feed this over, over that pinch and then it will cinch it in and hold it tighter. So it kind of creates a nice inconspicuous little additional hem to make your pant a little bit tighter. So this pant 
on me is very loose in the waist, but I need that for my very sensitive stomach. So when I get pants like these, and of course this one has a nice elastic, this is from a different um, distributor that I have ordered from in the past. And I have liked their products, but they are a little bit pricier. So when I get something like this, I like that idea of being able to cinch it in a little bit tighter um, to, to a point of my liking, or, you know, if you, especially if you don't have the belt hoops here. Anyway, that's what, that's what those are for. So they did come in a larger set so that, of course, if you lose them in the washer, you forget to take them off. You have some spares, but a lot of them I've only seen come in um, like a set of two or a set of four. And I think this one has a set of six. So six sets all together. Now I do have to tell you one last thing or show you one last thing I should say. So you would have seen in a video not too long ago that I picked up a couple of hair pieces that I thought were really cute and I am wearing one of those today. So let's zoom in here so that you can see. This is that interesting little like a what do you call it? Not a banana clip, a claw clip. And then you feed this big giant safety pin through. Now, as cool of an idea as this is, I do have to say that I did try putting this in my hair several different ways. Now, I assume that if you have thicker hair than myself, that you would be able to do this with ease and not have this slide around. But because my hair is a little bit thinner, I did try to feed it through several different ways so that it doesn't sit here and jiggle around too much. But I think I do have it at a point where it's not too bad. The weight on it isn't really horrible at all either. So uh, again, this is just something that I picked up in a different haul. And I just kind of wanted to do like a mini, a mini little product review so that you can you can see um, how how it looks on my hair and my thoughts and opinions on it. So I am now going to get started in the try on portion of today's video. Here's the first little outfit that I've put together, of course, with the big bow sweatshirt. Now, again, I think this is really cute. I think it's really cozy. The fabric and the material feels, feels so soft. And I do love the idea of the oversized bow of an extra little something to a very basic bland sweatshirt. But again, my thoughts are to put some extra little stitches in here to hold this in place. And of course here to hold this in place. So it's not as just kind of flopsy mopsy hanging out all over the place, if that makes sense. I'm thinking that would make it look a little extra put together. And I don't think that that would be a very hard thing to do, even if there are a lot of you out there that are not so sewing and, and doing that kind of thing, and you're not into that, it would be very simple just to get a gray thread and just put a couple of loops in here and tie it and tie it off in the back of the sweatshirt back here and just make that look a little bit more polished. It should be a very simple, simple fix. So for the price point that this is, having to do the extra little bit of something to really make this look better than what it did out of the package. I think the price is right and I would definitely do that and my, that would be my absolute recommendation before I can say this is a 10 out of 10. But for now, I'm going to rate this an 8 out of 10 just because I do have to put a little extra work into it. This sweater is very soft on my skin. It is very, very cozy. I love all of the different designs on it. I love the asymmetry of it. I love the stitching, how the stitching is so nicely put together. I love the stripes and all of the contrast with the colors. And I don't know if they have different color variations. They might, I don't remember. However, 
these thumb holes are going to be the kind of thumb hole that is going to almost cut the circulation off of my thumbs. Here's why. Um, number one, the thumb hole is very small. Now, could I cut it and enlarge that thumb hole? I could. But then I would also have to come in and sew it up um, and stitch it up a little bit more so that it doesn't continue unraveling up the arm, okay? The other part of that reason why it would cut off circulation is because the sleeves are a little bit too short. So for me, the sleeve would have to come down to here so that I could comfortably put my thumb in there and not feel like it's going to pull because anything I do is going to pull. However, the fabric is stretchy, so it has a, a plenty enough give. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this one, I think I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10, only simply because the thumb, the thumb hole. Could you avoid that if you got a larger size? Yes, potentially, but this already is a very kind of a loose fitting top as it is. And I think if I were to get a size larger, it might be, it might be too loose. Here's the vest. And I love, I love this vest. I love how soft and cozy this is. I love the length of it. I love how it covers my booty. So if you guys want something a little bit longer that will do that for you, that will conceal your belly and your booty, this is perfect for that. It also, if you wanted to kind of give it a little bit of a tuck, it will stay that way. If you want it to, it will stay that way. You don't have to tuck it into anything because there is enough kind of an elasticy, a little bit tighter of a, of a weave down here so that it will stay if you wanted it that way. Um, it is a little bit oversized, like I said. So for me personally, I would have sized down had I known, but it's kind of hard to gauge an Asian size compared to a US size. Because if some of you know that have been on Timu for quite some time, Asian sizes are very, very itsy, itsy, bitsy. Um, so when you're trying to translate that into a US size, it's kind of hard to gauge which size you should order. So the other part of this is, again, like I said, what I would say is keep it buttoned. Don't play with the buttons because that stitching is it's not held together very firmly. So I will have to go in and try to fix this one button so that I don't lose it. So I can't wear it until I fix it. So it's kind of a bummer because I don't want to lose that button somewhere. Pockets, again, gorgeous depth. Love the pockets. I love the versatility of being able to pull it down if I wanted to, to have it a longer length or make it look, look like a little bit poofier down at the bottom. I, I love a lot of things about it. I think the weave could be a little bit tight, um, tighter of a weave so that it doesn't feel like it would be an easy snag factor. Again, I think the buttons here should have been polished off in a different way and especially bummer because it actually did come out of the bag this way. So for those reasons, I would give this one an eight out of 10 just for the reason why this is one that you kind of have to be gentle with while you're wearing it. And for me, if I'm wearing something casual, I don't feel like I should have to be gentle with what I'm wearing like you would an evening gown. You want to be gentle with it because it's a high priced item and you don't want to ruin it and that sort of thing. Or if it's a dry clean only, don't get it dirty because dry cleaning is a fortune, stuff like that. So for me, when I have casual wear, I don't feel like I should be gentle with it. This is a women's medium, again, just, um, just a reminder. So this is how the women's medium fits on me. 
If you like your t-shirts to be a little bit longer, size up. If you want it to be a little bit more loose, size up. If you don't mind how this looks on me, if you are my size, stick with the medium, which is my usual size. And of course, the phrase. I mean, can we just agree that this is perfect for some of you gals out there as well as myself. So I love how this fits. I love the softness of the material of it. The saying is A++. So for me, this is 100% a 10 out of 10. We're gonna start off with this little shawl moment here. And I just like this kind of, this little tassel fringe that we've got going on down here. Um, I just love how that kind of finishes off the look a little bit, gives it a little bit extra zhuzh, if you will. Um, I do like that it has this longer um, sides here on um, each side is a little bit longer. It looks like a little bit more ruffled the way that it's stitched together, which I like that goes kind of around your arm. The, there are so many different ways to wear these, of course. And so for me, I do like the, the availability to just kind of slap something on if you're just a wee bit chilly and have something that you're able to to take off that's not too oversized you know if your arms are cold you can tuck them in you know stuff like that i really just enjoy the coziness of this overall and if you are one of those people that um, are not comfortable showing your arm, you're not comfortable showing your belly, and you do like to have something, a little something, something to drape over your body to conceal things. There are so many cute options out there available, of course, this most definitely being one of them. However, for me, what I would say is, again, We've already had Koi kind of snuggling up on this a little bit. So again, this is for me with, with pets. Let's see how close zoomed in I can get you on that. So for me with pets, this is another one that I kind of have to be careful with. So just keep that in mind when you do buy sweaters and such from Timu that the weave isn't the weave is never very, very tight and compressed. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. So they are fairly easy to snag. So just pointing that out, if you do wear something like this, just make sure you're very cognizant of that around your pets, different jewelry things that you're going to be wearing, necklaces, rings, long earrings, things like that. So for those reasons, again, this is another one that you kind of have to be careful with. I would give this one a nine out of 10 because everything else about it, I do really enjoy. And I think the colors are very fun and it just adds a nice little pop of something, something. The cream shirt, the one that's really soft and cozy and kind of fleece, again, that material, if it will zoom in and be nice and clear for you, is both on the outside and soft on the inside. So very soft, very cozy material. Again, this is perfect for layering. However, I did stick with my own size because it looked on the model to be a looser fitting top. Again, if I see in the model, in the photo that it's going to be tight, I will always, always, always size up. But because the model looked like it was a looser fitting top, I stuck with my own size, which is a medium. And I'm kind of sad that I did that because it's pretty short. It's pretty stinking short. So if this is something that you would want for layering, one of the things that I like to do when I am layering a top is something that I can tuck in. Now, if you're wearing a higher waisted pant and you wanna tuck this in, you've got plenty of space to do that. But if you are wearing kind of a lower rise jean and you try to tuck this in and keep it tucked in, and if you're my size and you picked up a medium because it's a little bit on that shorter side, it's probably gonna to continue to pull out. I can see that being a factor right away. Also, the arms are pretty tight. You know, it, it makes it kind of, you know, takes out my biceps a little bit more, um, shows shows a little bit of my, my girl power, not like I have much. I'm pretending like I do. Had you seen me a few years ago, maybe you would have agreed with me then, but just 
probably not now. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's tight. It is very tight on me and the arm sleeves are pretty short on me. I would say most definitely size up one or two sizes, depending on what your thought process is and what this is going to be going under. Um, is it going to be overalls? If it's going to be overalls, then I would say keep it tight. Um, but if you're going to be using it to go under what I just showed you, like that shawl or something like that, go up a size, go up a size, maybe even two. So for that reason, being that the size is very tight and it's kind of short, and I don't know if getting a size larger is going to help with the shortness either here or here. It might, it might not, I don't know. I'm going to give this one, because of the super soft cozy factor on it, this is really the only thing going for it at this moment in time, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. This sweater is really adorable. There are a couple of things that I would point out for those of you who might have sensory processing disorder. First being is that the sleeves are a little bit tight and the neck hole is kind of tight as well. So if you struggle with putting things over your head or putting your arm through tighter sleeves or how that feels around this area, and those are issues that you come across, what I would say is size up. For me personally, I don't mind because I like to have my sleeves up this, this way anyway. I, I very rarely have my sleeves all the way down. It, I, it's a weird thing for me to have it there. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm weird, I'm, I'm not normal. I've never professed to be normal, so those kinds of things. Just little weird oddities about me. If you ever see me wearing a, a long sleeve shirt, this is probably how you'll see me wear it. But the length is a great length. So for me to be able to have the option, if I want to pull it down all the way, I certainly can do that and it's certainly long enough. So those two things, the tighter sleeves and the tighter neck hole, if those things bother you, definitely size up. I do, however, love the length of this. I do think that this is overall a perfect length for this kind of a sweater. Even if you wanted to do a French tuck, if you wanted to do that, you could, and it would not be super bulky material dragging down on one side. So for me, I think with all of the features that I appreciate for it, for me personally, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. This top, the size that I picked up in this top, Again, if you are my size, I would definitely say stick with the size that I have picked up because this is absolutely perfect. I don't think that I would change a thing about this size-wise at all. The, the way that you can cinch this in is absolutely perfect. But the thing is, is you have to cinch it in a little bit um, so that you have enough play here so that it doesn't stick out in a weird little way, if, if you can see that, right? So I did have to cinch it in quite a bit, but that is the fashion, okay? The fashion is, is for you to cinch this in and have it tighter right underneath your bust area. So again, the multiple types of fabric that is in here, the detail in the front, I like the idea of, here it is, this, this little additional strap that you can put through the top here, very adorable. And just other than the, uh, other than all of this, you have just your little basic uh, t-shirt material here. And I just, I love it. And there's even a little bit of asymmetry, asymmetry in the front of it. Um, I don't know that there is any in the back. I don't think so. But is this called like a peplum, peplum then? If it kind of comes out a little bit flowier at the bottom, I think that's what you would call it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this top absolutely for me, 10 out of 10, hands down. Today I was definitely trying to go with the messy hair vibe and from 
putting on and off all of this clothes, my hair is becoming unraveled and disheveled and I'm looking a little on the wild side, but I think I've officially put into true effect the messy hair look. Now, let's address this little kind of a cover up over, kind of like an overlay or a throw, whatever you want to call this. I did pair it with a uh, top that I have had from Timu that is a button up. So we did the French tuck um, on the side. We can do the French tuck in the front or we can just have it down so you can see different style variations of how you could wear this. And then of course I put my arms through the armholes here and then here's the back. So this is kind of where the fun stuff comes in. And so to me this kind of mimics the idea of taking one of your little sweaters and just draping it over your shoulders as if you are going out to the golf club. So there's some, there's a couple of different ways that you could obviously wear this. Now the thing that is still throwing me off about this is the fact that they actually have this open so that you could wear it as a sleeve. Now would I be doing that? No, it looks weird. It's an option, definitely an option. I wouldn't be doing it, but there, there you have it. It just kind of mimics or mocks having one of those little sweaters kind of tied over, um, over your shirt. But yeah, there you have it. I think for me, outside of wearing it with the sleeves, the pattern, the material again is that that very typical Timu sweater material that I would say be very careful with, with whatever jewelry you're gonna pair with it and pets and all of that spiel. So for that reason alone, um, again, everything else about it, I love. I love the versatility of it, even being able to put this as a, as a, a weird little sleeve. I mean, if you wanted to, you could. It's a nice extra little feature, not one that I would use. But for all of those reasons, outside of the material, I would love to see these in a much tighter weave, a little bit more sturdy and durable. That is the only reason why I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Here's our first little dress, tank top, half thing situation going on. And I, I wanted to show you a little bit of flexibility and versatility of this. Um, I dug through my closet to see what I could find that I could put on that I could use in the more fall winter weather where it's going to be a little bit more on the cool side to make this work for that. I did pick this up in a different Timu haul, but if you have a crop top sweater, something like that, I think that this would work very well and very put together. And I do, I just like kind of how it's, um, very, it's very cheeky. Now, what I would say to this is I definitely size up. I think I picked up a large. I think I should have gone with an extra large. So for, for you, if you don't want it to be as kind of tight as it is, size up twice. So if I was to redo this order and get this again, I would definitely do an extra large instead of just a large. And then of course, pairing it with something additional to put over it to keep your, your arms a little bit uh, warmer. This is definitely a very cute option. And then of course, paired with um, a nice higher boot. So let me show you what it would look like without this little thing on. It is that tank top kind of top. So in when it's warmer, of course, you would just go like this. Now, what I would say, if you're going to wear it like this, instead of wearing jeans, I would go with leggings because leggings is gonna definitely be more seamless underneath here, especially if you don't mind it being on the tighter side, which is what this is. So that little cover up, that little extra layer up top, a nice cropped little sweater like that, really pulls that part together perfectly where it conceals that little lumpy bumpy of the, the jeans underneath. So what I would say to this, again, if it was a little bit more loose, had I, if, had I 
realized that it was going to be as loose as it was even sizing a size larger than I normally get. I would definitely, I would definitely size up two sizes on this for sure. Now, the material of this is your typical silky, extra stretchy polyester material. It is, I don't want to say cheap material, but again, it, it just depends on, on how you pair it, what you pair it with. Of course, that will detract from its cheapness, if you know what I mean. So I think just wearing it bland wearing it a little bit tighter is definitely going to cheapen the look. So pairing it together with other things definitely will pull it together a lot more. So the fact that the material is tighter than I wanted it to be, smaller than I wanted it to be, um, and, and the fact that you kind of have to work to make this outfit um, put together and look a little bit more schnazzy. For those reasons, I'm definitely going to give this one more of a 7 out of 10. I do think it's a really cute option. I think it could potentially be a really cute um, outfit altogether if, like I said, material and size and all of that jazz was a little bit better. Here is that last little bizarre dress that I said that I didn't know how I felt about the the way that the black and this camel color kind of meet and that you might want to consider using a belt with it. So this is actually a Timu belt. I have not hauled this on a video yet. So I did dig it out of my pile. So I'm going to show you what this belt looks like. It is definitely your PLU leather. Everything about it is stretchy around the waist. And then of course your PLU leather in the back and these are snaps. They just snap on and snap off. Very simple, very easy. Now for this, I would say this belt alone, close up, could look a little on the cheap side. So for that reason, I will give this an eight out of 10. Otherwise, I do enjoy the fashion. I do enjoy the fact that it's not super tight and I don't remember if this came in sizes or if it was just a one size fits most situation, but, Put together with this little half dress situation, I think it does pull it together and make it look really cute. I also would say, again, with something like this, wear a pair of leggings for the simple reason that if you're going to wear jeans, you're going to get that extra, you know, all of like your buttons and your snaps and belt loops and all of that kind of popping through and making weird little um, pockets and, and dimples and puckers in in this more flowier material here. Again, this is the, here's the seam that differentiates between that black um, ribbed kind of stretchy polyester to this more um, silky. I don't like where it hits, okay? I don't like where it hits. This is my stomach, okay? It's pushing, this is what happens when I have elastic and it pushes in weird ways. This is why I'm telling you guys, I do not like certain elastics around my waist. Now, tell me that this does not make things... You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you see what I'm showing you? Um, so uh, I, I think it might be better if it wasn't, um, if it wasn't as tight as it is. Maybe if I was to have sized up, I don't know. The, the sleeves and the stitching on the sleeves is kind of poo poo kaka. I don't think that it's finished off very well if, if you ask me in my opinion. Um, overall, I'm not really happy with this one. Cute idea, cute design. Um, pretty much everything about it though could be better outside of the design. And I think for all of those reasons, I'm going to give this little half dress cover up thing. Um, <laughs> Israel came home, he's got the dogs outside. I just saw something out my, my window and it scared me for a second. Anyways, for all those reasons, I'm going to be giving this a five out of 10. 
I just want to remind you guys that I do have a short list of my favorite YouTuber gals down below in the description box. So make sure you hop over to their channels, show them some love, let them know that Faith sent you. And also don't forget lots of other goody goods down in my description box down below, including, including coupons for Timu's new and existing users. So don't forget to check that out as well. And of course, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by on another video today. I super duper appreciate it. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I would love it if you considered subscribing. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Helps me out a lot and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye, guys.